Welcome everyone, I am Scott Rudrow, a game design student at Full Sail University, and this is my episode on interactable environments. Interactable environments are environments that allow the player to see and pick up, place, open, close, anything you can imagine you can do in a game has an interactable environment. We're playing Arma 3. Arma 3 is a game by Bohemia Software. Bohemia is a company that is out of the United States, but they've made a lot of good games in the short time they've been a studio. In Arma 3, you can play competitively or cooperatively, and you can play against or with robot AI. You can also play against more than one faction. In this game, there are three factions, each vying for control of certain sectors. Now, the necessity of interactions limits the number of key presses that a person needs to do in order to accomplish a feature. Any features such as looting or pillaging or picking up an item. If you have to press different buttons for those, you can imagine how it would become confusing and overwhelming. Interactions is a simple way to effectively accomplish those mundane tasks without breaking immersion. In this scene, we have a tango, there he is on the left, moving into a building. That tango does not go forward, so we know he's gone up. Let's take him out. Now once we take out this tango, we'll be able to loot his body and I'll be able to show you the immersion that interactive environments create. There, Tango down. Second Tango. Tango down. Alright, we come up to the body, we see the symbol that means inventory. We tap the button we immediately go into inventory. Just like when we came up to the helicopter, tapped the button, we got into the helicopter. It makes it simple to do things that are normally done in a game without becoming over complicated or overbearing. Therefore, interactions and immersive gameplay are efficient and necessary mechanic for computer and console games. The basics of interacting with the environment can be accomplished with doors acting as gates, valves, or barricades. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day.